All right, here we go. Class 6A, round one in three minutes or less. Set the clock. Ready? Go. Who would you consider the favorite in 6A? Well, I think you got to look at Crete in the north bracket, obviously. I, I, I think the Trojans got a tremendous draw. I, I don't think there was anyone happier on playoff pairing night than Crete when they saw number one. They dropped down to 6A, and number two wound up in the north bracket of 6A, which honestly... I don't really see a challenge for Crete anywhere in that, or I'm sorry, for uh, Kerry Grove in that north part of the bracket. The south bracket, again, I got some questions, uh, but I, I got, I'm going to pick Crete. Um, Talent-wise, this might be the best team talent-wise out of any class. I mean, there are some spectacular, spectacular players. Uh, Crete obviously have their issues, and that will lead into my next question. How good is Crete? Very good, but uh, again, the uh, the Southlands Conference isn't exactly a, a powerhouse conference. Crete has literally rolled through their schedule this year. I don't really know what this team's going to do if someone steps up, challenges them, and Crete finds themselves down a couple of touchdowns in the playoffs. That could happen. I don't know how they'll react. How good is Ottawa? Ottawa's another team. Certainly a great season. Uh, Miguel Hermosillo, great back. Just don't know how battle-tested they are. And the same for me goes with Lakes. Lakes, uh, a lot of talent. Very good team. But again, we're going to find out real quickly how good the North Suburban Prairie is or isn't. Uh, and Lakes is one of those teams that I, I've got a feeling we've got to see play and see how they things shake out early. Could this be the worst class of all, Number th my question number three? Yeah, it definitely could be. Um, just not overly impressed with Class 6A at all. Uh, and again, for that reasons. I, I, we could see something real, real funky happen in 6A, and I wouldn't be shocked. Some sleepers in 6A. you got to go with number four, Peoria Richwoods. Uh, Kendrick Foster, very good running game. And, uh, again, Richwoods has proven that over the last few years. They just seem to get better and better and better as they get in the playoffs. Uh, Normal West is another team I would keep an eye on. Uh, they lost their starting quarterback to injury. The backup has come in, played very well. They're starting to put up points again, and when you put up points, you have a chance. Uh, Niles Notre Dame is a 14 seed in the upper bracket. Again, a lot of weird things can happen in 6A, but uh, you know the the Dons can run the ball, and that's a good thing. And I just like their matchups early on, and uh, they're part of the 6A bracket. Some upsets: uh, Glenbard South, I think, definitely is a team to watch, and it should be a good game with St. Pat's. Uh, I think they could pull the win over St. Pat's. Uh, again, Niles Notre Dame is a 14 seed over Grays Lake North. Again. We don't know a ton about the about the Fox Valley, but uh, Niles Notre Dame can run the ball. Should be able to play some defense. And have seen some uh, spread games that that Grays Lake North runs. So, and then also my other upset Lakes uh, again. Uh, I'm sorry, Lake Forest has a real good chance. I think of beating uh, Meadows, and the winner of that game could go away. So there you go, seven a and three minutes.